Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Thursday, May 30th. What happened to May? Anyway, months come, months go, but we have eternal life that has been promised to us through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. All right, we're finishing the 11th chapter today of John in our yearly uh, New Testament Bible reading. Look at verse 47 and a few verses here. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, What shall we do? For this man works many signs. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away our place and nation. Wow. They cared more about their place than God. And one of them, Carapus, being high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all nor do you consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and not that the whole nation should perish. Now this he did not say in his own authority, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation. Is that interesting? Scripture must be fulfilled, amen. I say that all the time, the good the bad and the ugly, because even the bad and the ugly is because God is outside of time. He knows the beginning from the end, and he knows man's hearts, and he writes it all down. All right, so in the United States today, we're praying for North Carolina and South Carolina. North has about 10 million. South has about 5 million, both about 35% evangelical Christians. And then we're praying for Niger today. <clears throat> Niger. They're asking, there is a lot of insecurity in many areas we cannot reach due to security concern. Pray that the Lord Jesus would bring peace. Pray also for the outreach is taking place this summer that God would prepare hearts, all right? Their population is 25 plus million with only 1% evangelical Christians. If you want to lay your hands on that area today, it's number 105 excuse me, on the prayer car chart, our world map. And then today we're praying for the, <clears throat> excuse me, the economy, all right? Let's go ahead and pray. Precious Father, we do thank you for this new day. Again, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the only time that we will be alive on May 30th, 2024, so we choose to make it a good day. We choose to deal with our attitudes, our moodiness, our bummed outness, whatever it might be. We choose to not look at that, but look on to Jesus, the altar and the finish of our faith. Hallelujah! For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. You did it all for me, Lord. You can go ahead and say that. You did it all for me. And I am forever thankful, forever grateful. And therefore, I choose to live my life as a servant to mankind because I am a king with my Jesus and a Lord with my Jesus, who is king of kings and Lord of lords. But here we are servant leaders. Here we are to serve people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Love you, sir. Love you, love you. Love you much. Lord, today we lift up our birth, excuse me, our nation, and we pray for this United States of America. We lift up North Carolina and South Carolina, these two states in our union, and we pray for them, Lord. We pray for revival fires to break out, many big churches, many godly churches in this area. So we pray for them, Lord that they can minister to the needs of the people in their area, young and old, big and small, whatever it might be. We thank you for that. We lift up our nation before you and we pray for those that are in authority right now. We pray for Harris and uh, Biden and Harris in our executive branch. Again, we bind up evil people and we pray for the godly that you would strengthen them there. We lift up Johnson and Schumer in our legislative branch. And again, we bind up ungodly people and we pray for the godly people. We lift up Roberts 
the Chief Justice and the Associate Justices of our Supreme Court. We bind up evil people again and we pray for the godly. We pray for those that are uh, governors of states and mayors, Lord, on and on. We lift up Donald Trump with this election, uh, with this case that has come against him, Lord. And we pray for the truth to be exposed. That's all we ask, Lord. We're not praying, do this, do that. We just want the truth. And we thank you. Thank you for that. Now, Father, we lift up before you our complete United States of America. And we pray, almighty God, for the people in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up our world. We lift up Niger before you and we pray for these hard-to-reach areas. I believe that every person has a right to hear the gospel at least once. In America, we've heard it a million and one times, and many are still hardened. My, oh my. So we pray for the people of Niger today. We pray for our world, Father, from the north, south, east, and west. We pray for North America, South America, Central America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Pacific. We lift up Nauru before you, Papua New Guinea, Australia, New Zealand, Solomon Islands, Tavalu, Ventanu. We pray for these in our world today, Lord. And we pray that they can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, thank you for that. We pray for our world. We pray for the 8 billion people in our world. And we pray that salvation would come to many. Lord, we know it's not you hindering people from being saved. But Lord, we pray for the unsaved, the unchurched, the unreached in Jesus' name. We also pray for the persecuted church, Lord. Those that are suffering for the cause of the gospel. We pray for them. Lord, we lift up before you the nation of Israel and we pray for the Jewish people, for the scales to come off their eyes and their hearts to be open. We also know that as we see more and more nations going against Israel, we know that Christians are their biggest supporters. So we stand with them today. We pray for them today. We pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for Jerusalem we pray for this city that will be our capital one, one day, Lord. Exciting news for us as Christians. We pray in Jesus' name. We thank you for that, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I just feel the pray for people today. We pray for the lost, Lord. We pray for those that are, ah, I don't need it. Ah, I'm a good person. Ah, there's no such place as hell. Oh, Lord. Somehow, some way, I pray to open up a Bible, Lord. I pray for the Gideons today that they'll have open doors to get the Bibles out more and more. But Lord, we pray for people. We pray for our neighborhoods, Lord. All of our neighborhoods, our neighbors. People that are, well, I'm this, I'm this, I'm Catholic, I'm Protestant, I'm Lutheran, I'm whatever. And Lord, I pray that they would know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Oh my, we pray for them today. We pray for the scales to come off their eyes. That they would have a personal relationship with Christ and that they would receive him as their Lord and Savior. I pray for those on these prayer cards that are unsaved. I pray that their hearts would be open for the glorious light of the gospel to get in. I thank you, thank you for that, Lord. We pray for those that are sick today, Lord. Help them today, Lord. Help them. Send the special person to lay hands on them, pray for them, whatever it might be that they need. You know better than I do. We lift these up before you. We pray for our economy today, Lord, and we pray for America. We're spending, 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 spending. A house divided against itself cannot stand. We pray for our nation, Lord. We pray for the economy in our nation. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you. We lift up different organizations that are doing a great work for the kingdom. World Concern, World Gospel Mission, World Impact, World Intercessor Network, World Mission Prayer League, 
World Missionary Press, World Relief, we lift these up before you, Father. I also lift up before you, Bob Yandy and Ministries, Billy Graham Ministries, Joseph Prince Ministries, I pray that you would continue to use these. We lift up Reverend Bob Meeker before you, Father. And we thank you for a complete healing in his body, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, thank you for all these prayers. Holy Spirit, we trust you. We stay sensitive to you to touch lives. I come against skin cancer right now in Jesus' name. Skin cancer, you, you die from the roots in Jesus' name. I pray for that one who's in turmoil right now and needs peace in their life. I just pray your shalom, shalom for them today, Lord. Peace, Lord. Peace that only you can give. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. If you're in need of something today, just stretch your hands out towards me. Let's pray together. Father, right now in Jesus' name, we all have needs. We're all fighting things. I pray for my brothers and sisters. Help them in this need that they're asking be it spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, or financially, Lord. Help them, I pray, today. Now, Father, as we wrap up, we give you all the praise and the honor that's due your name. You are God. You are glorious. We love you so. Worship you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, isn't God good? Amen. God is good. Listen. Have an awesome day. Blessing to you and yours. And unless the Lord sounds that trumpet today, see you tomorrow on the last day of the month tomorrow. Amen. Have a great Thursday. God bless.